thought I'd make a video today if I can get you guys to see it it's kind of hard to film this um, but anyway we've got honeybees back this year and that is a good thing because for a long time for the last couple of years we haven't even had any honeybees around here let's see if I can zoom in over here it's kind of hard to do this and find these little suckers There's another one. Let's see if we can find them. Do you know how hard it is to try to videotape honey? Let's see if I can find one over here. Let me zoom out just a little bit so I can see where I'm at. There's another one right there. If you can see him, this might be a little bit easier to do it this way. And there's one right there. These are the hardest things to film. Unless you've got them all swarming together somewhere. But maybe you guys can see that little thing right there moving around. This is a blessing that they're even back. Okay, and just while I'm out here, for those of you that don't know, these are plum trees. We've got a pretty good section of plum trees that have, uh, we've had these in the family for well, ever since I was a baby, as long as I can remember. And let me scan over. I don't know if you can see that dead looking one right there, but that is actually the grandfather tree to all of these plum trees right here. And if we're lucky, and if the frost doesn't get them and the birds don't get them, then we will have a, hopefully, a pretty good harvest of plums come the end of spring, early summer. And just because I think it's beautiful when it blooms out, there is an apple tree right there. And that apple tree puts out a ton of really, really, really good apples right there. Uh, there's another apple tree. It's a different variety and it has not started blooming out quite yet. Okay, I don't know how good you're going to be able to see this, and it hasn't bloomed out yet, but all of that right there, from starting over there, going all the way into over there, and all the way up there, except for the hedge bush that's up in there that I need to cut out, that is a rose bush, and it hasn't bloomed out yet, so uh, a little bit later here in the spring when it blooms out, I'll try to take another video of it. But that is just to kind of show you, my grandmother had, someone had bought her a rose for, just a rose plant for Mother's Day, I think one year. And my dad, um, when it was time to throw it away, they never did pot it. Uh, I mean, take it from the pot and put it into the ground. Dad just took it out here and just threw it out here back on the fence line. And the thing took root and over the years it's grown into that. So I thought that was pretty amazing. Now for me, if I try to put a rose in the ground, I can't get the thing to live to save my life. But he just tossed it on the fence line and let it go. Was going to let it just become uh, just dead, dead flower and it took off and made that. So that's pretty amazing. That's kind of the amazing thing that God can do when he wants to. And for those interested, that's a little lizard that's on the shop porch. Of course, probably telephoto. 
he probably looks pretty big, but actually he's not. He's just about the size of a pencil. But I don't often get to catch these guys on film, so I thought that I would just film him while I'm being still. Oops. There he goes. That's pretty neat. I bet if I move towards him, he'll move. Sorry, I'm not very good at holding the camera steady. Anyway, that's a lizard.